And this is the AMS Oil Tech Tip. It's all about torquing, my friend. Manufacturers have made engine tolerances tighter through the years to harness all that horsepower and combustion pressure. So it's important that you torque an engine right. How do you do it? Well, take a look at this graphic right here. This is a cylinder head. And if you're doing a cylinder head, you can see there's a sequence to doing it. One, two, three, four, and work your way out. If you don't have that, it's just common practice basically to start in the middle and work your way out. But if you have the manufacturer's specifications, follow the sequence. Now important, look down there. 22 foot-pounds and then it wants 90 degrees and 60 degrees or 70 degrees or 30 degrees whatever it may be that's the trick my friends and I have a degree set up right here so we can go ahead and look how to do it this is actually a torque wrench now on a torque wrench you went to the specific degrees you needed to go at and then what I did I put it over here and I'm gonna set this up to zero right here and when I set it up to zero now I'm pulling that this is the crankshaft bolts down here and I'm pulling it and as I pull it I can go 30 40, 50, or whatever the manufacturer calls for. That's key. Now that's key because the oil has to fill all those bearings, and that's a problem because one oil doesn't fit all. It doesn't, not anymore. With what you were just talking about, with all these different torque specs and the different tolerances inside these engines, it does require different oil because the space is different. And oil flow rates and pressures and temperatures all play into it as well. What does that mean for us? That means we have to have a wide variety of products, which we do. Our Signature Series line covers everything from a 016, to be honest with you, all the way up to the 5W50. So we've got a large range of products to suit all of those different manufacturer specifications. Now, Len, this also talks a little bit about it. This is pretty cool. This is on your website, and this is an industry standard, but you guys go way better than that. Right, this speaks to the construction of the actual product. So once again, the Signature Series products are not built with industry standards in mind. Industry standards would be, what do I need to get a D minus in this class? What we've done here is the product itself has been built to outperform the industry standards. In this particular sequence 4A test, the lower the number, the better. They allow a 90. We actually come in at a 20.2. So what that means is we did better than what was required. So it goes to build quality. Absolutely. And you want the best? Check them out on the website, amsoil.com.